it's possible you could be paying a little bit extra when you buy something in Wisconsin. Under a proposal in the state budget, a regional transit authority could affect sales tax. Now, the state budget specifically outlines the creation of a transit authority for the Fox Cities region, and the authority would have the power to raise the tax. And so, like most tax issues, opinions are mixed. Fox 11's Evan Perrault brings us multiple views tonight. We're looking at the fate of public transportation in the Fox Cities here. And it all boils down to money. We're facing a financial crisis uh, with the 2010 census. Officials say once the Valley Transit area hits the 200,000 population mark expected after next year's census, Valley Transit will lose its federal funding, about $1.5 million. That's 20% of its entire operating budget. To help bridge that expected gap, some officials are hoping a proposal in the state budget to form a regional transit authority for the Valley goes through. If we have an RTA, we have a regional way to deal with our own issues and decide what we want to do. That's compared to the piecemeal way Valley Transit is currently constructed with 13 different government entities. To raise funds for transportation, the Transit Authority would also have the ability to levy up to a half-cent sales tax on the included region. But officials believe the tax would never get that high in order to fill the expected $1.5 million hole. If all we use the Regional Transportation Authority for is to fill the gap, um, it, it won't even be close to a half cent. Some smaller communities that would be included in the RTA, however, are worried the makeup of the governing board that would levy the tax would exclude them, ultimately leading to taxation without representation. True, true. It's another layer of government we're forming. And I don't think people realize that. But others say paying a possible fractional tax to keep service levels the way they are now would only help the region. If people are able to get to jobs, it's good for all of us. If a solution isn't found, Valley Transit would likely ask for municipalities involved to increase property taxes, which currently fund the system, increase fares, and or cut service. In the Fox Cities, Evan Peralt, Fox 11 News.